everybody, I'm Dana Scheider, and in this video I'm going to explain the concept of absolute value. I know I said my next video was going to be about adding and subtracting negative numbers, and I'm going to do that next, but I just decided it was important to include absolute value first. If you're comfortable with the idea of the number line and positive and negative numbers, you're ready to learn about absolute value. You can understand absolute value without understanding fractions, arithmetic, or why any of this matters. Absolute value is a really simple concept. By the way, most math concepts are actually simple, but it's easy to lose sight of that when you've just got a whole bunch of them being thrown at you at once, so I want to make sure to point that out. Absolute value is the distance between any number and zero. Integers can be positive or negative, but absolute values are always positive. That's because absolute value is about the distance from zero, not the direction from zero. You indicate the absolute value of a number by putting the number between two vertical bars, like this. It's best to use the number line to illustrate this. The positive integer 4 is 4 away from 0. The negative integer, negative 4, is also 4 away from 0, just in the opposite direction. Since direction doesn't matter for absolute value, the absolute value of both 4 and negative 4 is 4. You can generalize this. The absolute value of a positive number is the same as the original number. So the absolute value of 1 is 1, absolute value of 6 is 6, etc. The absolute value of a negative number is the same as the original number, but positive. So the absolute value of negative 1 is positive 1, the absolute value of negative 3 is positive 3, and so on. See? Simple. So to conclude, Absolute value is the distance between any number and zero. Absolute values are always positive. I hope this video has helped you understand this idea, but if you still have questions, you can post them in the comments section and I'll get back to you with the answer. My next video is going to be about adding and subtracting negative numbers, just like I promised, and after that I'm going to do one about variables, which I know a lot of you might be struggling with. If you think those videos or any other pre-algebra videos will help you, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.